As I said, now it's time to move away from this hard-coded data to actual data set from the database, right? Now to do that, the first thing which we need to do would be to have some data in our database, okay? Um, let me show you my database. We have two users and I have practically nothing in my watchdogs table. I can log in, log out and that will add some activities but that's not too much data. So we'll seed some of the data, okay? So you can see I have two entries, but more than that, there's nothing. So let's use the factory and add some data to it. So I'm gonna copy this and use it for my watchdog. What do we have? We have description, level, IP address, user ID, created and updated. So let's say. We have description. So we'll be using the faker sentence. Okay, so we have the level which is going to be a random one from this array. Then we have the IP address, user ID, which will be random between two because I only have two users, but then it comes the date. This is important. So faker, I'll say the date I want should be between minus 10 days and now. Okay, so that's how I define it. Then come here to our terminal. Okay, we have to truncate so that we can get a clean one and I'll generate 500 entries. And yeah, that should be good enough for us to work with our data points. Now to get the data, We'll go inside our repositories and we will create a new repository inside the dashboard folder. Okay, and this is going to be an interface. Okay, and we'll keep one more function, which is, um, yeah, so that's the repository. And then we'll have eloquent dashboard, which is a class. Okay, and it should implement dashboard repository. So I'll add the stubs. And now we are ready for the base query. Okay. So what we are going to do is we have a private function first. Or that okay, let me first show you the query and then we will I will tell you why the private function. So Okay, well, we are going to query the watchdog table. It's going to be an array. And then, um, let's see, what do we need in our tables? Um, we have to do a DB raw for this. So what do I want? I want count of ID as count. And I need a MySQL function date format. Okay. Which will format created at with something like M and then percent T as date. We'll only take the last seven days. So created at 
greater than carbon today sub day is 7 okay query greater than is less than today okay and yeah should be equal to um then comes order by descending and we need to group by as well so now we have two functions one is user weak activities and systems weak activities and the only thing which will be different is aware condition right and pretty much the rest of the things will be common then why do we need to have the same logic written twice so in this case we'll use the private function get um, well, base activity query okay and i will put everything here and we will return the query okay so what we are going to do is when it is going to be a systems activity yeah we'll do this and return query dot get that's about it but when it is users activity we'll get the query okay and then go where user underscore id is user id and then we are going to return the query with get again so that's how you know the same base query is going to be used in two different ways and if there's any change in the format or anything i need to just change it in one place so let us quickly now then in our api create a route it will be a get request so we will use the user controller and get user watchdog entries so we need to create this function user id will be request user id or it can be auth id both are was the same thing okay and because we are going to use this url so let's create our config okay it will be let's just say okay and one thing which let me quickly do that is this api domain we will change it to um window dot inferno okay dot host because otherwise what is going to happen is every time i do a build i need to change that okay and because we have done this in our header dot blade we have the CLSR, CSRF token and also we will have so host URL and we'll have a slash as well so if you check what is going to happen is you know source code we are doing this and if we console window dot inferno dot host and we are getting this url so so we don't i mean we are not now tied to this you know hard coded variable it is automatic so we don't need to bother when we are doing a build all right so we have the get uh, api ready we have the controller in place we need the data obviously so we will pull the repository okay but we haven't set it up in our app service provider so quickly do that 
I mean, what is going to happen is in here we are saying that dashboard repository when it is called it should be eloquent dashboard class should be used so this is the interface and this is the implementation now eloquent knows that whenever we are calling this interface the eloquent implementation is going to be used okay so what I'll do is let's say you have not actually data but user activity equals dashboard repository and user activities we send the user id okay um, return response json i know this is going to work but you know the thing is we need the user activity in a different way and that's how we are going to use it so we need a data which is like this and we also need a data which is like this right so that's something which we are going to handle in the next video where we are going to in our controller format the data which is coming from the dashboard as per our requirement and then pass it to the view component so yeah we are pretty close we are this is still a hard coded one i haven't refreshed if you remember so don't get worried um so yeah in the next video we are going to convert the data from controller into our component and then we are gonna render this as a dynamic data thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel